my husband got scammed, found the case in the court. The court decided that the money needs to be paid back. The scammer is not a resident in Dubai, although he stays here for one year in one of the hotels. The fact that the scammer uh, does not have residency here and does not have any other assets here is sort of besides the point. You have a, a local court order that's final that issues that the grants you compensation, all right, that finds the other side guilty. So you are within your legal right uh, to seek enforcement of that claim. So to do that, you need to actually file an enforcement claim. As part of the enforcement claim, you can make a number of requests. One of the requests, for example, seizing assets. Now you're saying the, the, the scammer doesn't have any assets. Um, okay, so another, but you don't know. Maybe there is an actual bank account that you don't know about. So as part of the enforcement, you'll be able to find out that information if you make that request. The other request is that you can seize, let's say, a company trade license uh, or a car, whatever other assets. Now, if none of those, if, if, the, if the scammer doesn't have any of these financial assets, then some of the other requests you can ask through the enforcement proceedings are, for example, uh, the uh, arrest travel order or travel ban or arrest uh, uh, order or arrest warrant. So you can ask those requests if there are no financial assets attached to the, to the scammer. So in that case, when the scammer flies into the country, they will get arrested. So, and there's no better leverage for you as a claimant than for that party to um, have lost their freedom because of their unpaid obligations.